People often ask me what it takes to become an oral surgeon. And the answer is after four years of dental school, you have to apply to an oral surgery residency. And there are two pathways to becoming an oral surgeon. One is a four-year residency, which is hospital-based. And another is a six-year residency, which is also hospital-based, but also includes medical school. And that's the path I chose. So after four years of dental school, I continued my education for an additional six years. And at the end of that six years, I received a medical degree and my oral surgery certificate. And then I was able to finally go out at the age of 34 and get my first job. From a clinical perspective, that experience uh, is really focused in surgical training. Uh, we get to learn how to treatment plan surgical cases, treat surgical cases, and probably most importantly, manage complications from those surgical cases. So we get a lot of hands-on experience in those six years of residency in treatment planning and managing surgical patients which is much different than four years of dental school where there's zero education in managing surgical patients. From a patient's perspective, this means that they're in great hands. We all receive great training and we're able to handle just about any situation they present to our office with. If there's a complication, again, we're well trained in managing those complications and we'll do everything we can uh, walking side by side with our patients to make sure that we help them.